today we will create a waffle chart in power bi and uh, this is the exercise that we want to do uh, so the thing we need to create is uh, this waffle chart and then uh, we need to create this slicer that will like if we select any of the sub category or items here uh, this uh, this waffle chart will show how many percent is coming from which category, uh, the segment of the sales and what is the amount of sales in the text we will try to create this one uh, Get out of it. Okay, the data source that we're using would be the sample super store, and here we will be using a uh, SVG image as well. So we'll come to that later. So let me just open a new blank file. We'll get to we'll get. There. We just need to order um, details in this. So in this, what I need is pigment. Category, sub category, product name, and sales. So I just need these columns, so I will just keep these and remove other columns. Uh, using remove other columns, what it does is basically uh, when if a new column gets added to your uh, database, it won't affect this column, these columns. So every time you load your database, it will only call these columns. So Have the sales here. So we got our sales, and uh, this is the total sales. First thing, what we need is how much of uh, sales is coming from which segment. So we'll uh, take uh, get the percentage of each segment. So for that, first, just this segment here. Uh, we need to get a percentage of each segment for that we'll create a measure Uh, we can divide function, divide sum of sale. So we'll divide it by thirty. Sum of sales. Okay. All. Next, it's not will pass zero. Yeah. So what this uh, formula is doing basically, what we are saying, uh, get a sum of sales irrespective of which segment they are, uh, but we are dividing it by uh, the sum of uh, sales for each segment. So this all basically it will just uh, get all the data in, in a particular segment, and then we will do sum of. It. I will multiply it by hundred to get the percentage. And if I just pull it in here, yeah. Ah, okay. We can just round it off. We can use a round function to get uh, round it off. Okay. 
first thing, uh, fifty-one percent is coming from our uh, consumer segment, thirty-one here, and uh, so I just now pull some categories in the slicer. It's changing based on the work that uh, subcategory which I'm choosing. So we got the percentage of sales. Let us do first part. So we got these percentages. What we need now is a, a measure that will help uh, contain all the details. Like whatever we are selecting, uh, it should uh, just keep all those details. So for that, we'll create another measure. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, let me explain first this, what is this measure. So what we are checking is if uh, the is uh, subcategory column is filtered, then concatenate. Yeah. If the subcategory column is filtered, then what we need to do is we have to concatenate all the subcategories uh, in the order of subcategory and uh, with a comma in between. If nothing is selected, will it will give us all, give us all. So the way it's work is like as of now, if I clear everything, it will give me all. But if I have selected uh, anything, it will just give that details uh, with a comma separation. Uh, the only catch is, let's say if you select all the categories, it will show all the names instead of all. Like I have selected all the categories, so it will show all the categories instead of all because uh, is filter you basically uh, is always true because we have selected any of uh, any of them as, as in the slicer. That's the uh, catch of using this filter. The other way is you can uh, just do the count or count and count selected. That way, if you select all, it will just change it to all. So that's the other way of doing it. Okay. So let me just create the measure in here as well. Yeah. So any uh, doubt on this formula? So now we have this as well. So I will pull this bit here, change it to a name card, and then like if I select this, it will start concatenating. If I remove everything, it will give me all. Okay, so we got our two measures. Now we'll create the, uh, the visual first. So for that visual, we have to import the uh, visuals. The so first is vertical chart, and other is a chipset sensor. This is a vertical chart which I'm going to use. We'll add that. And we'll also use the flip sensor. So we are going to use these two visuals. Uh, first for the vessel chart. We want to show the percentage we will pull it here in the value. And uh, because we are talking about segments, I will segment in different categories. So yeah, uh, so this is we are getting a vessel chart. Uh, so uh, in this vessel chart, this option that you can change uh, these icons. So right now by default circle. Uh, but you can use uh, any other icons if you want. And for that, uh, they have given us a feature like if you have the SVG file of what shape you want in your vessel chart, what you can do is you can go to this online converter. Yeah. So this EV uh, is the online converter. What it does is it choose your file, the SVG file, what you want in your vessel chart, and it will give you the power. So if I come back to Power BI, here something we have as a path. So what this path does it? Uh, what the path you get? It uh, just take the path and it will show you in here. Now basically change the special chart to that format. So I can show you some example of that. These kind of, uh, you can create these kind of shape using uh, if you have the SVG of this, like this is a transport, uh, they have created. 
so that you just upload your file and it will give you this kind of uh, path and uh, once you have the path uh, you can use it in your uh, file so this is a live example of that SVG graph that I'm showing so as of now we don't have any SVG file for any path so we can go ahead with the circle or uh, I had copied uh, the path from the tutorial so I can show you that path as well with just a set of numbers So we can use this path. Uh, what we need to do is yeah, the path I'm using is for the square instead of circle. So what I will do, I will just pull it into the path field, and it will change it to square. So if, any, if you have any other shape that you want uh, your vessel chart to look like, okay, you just create that path, uh, bring it to path column and it will give you the value, uh, shape, sorry. So this is our vessel chart. We can do some customization, like if you want to change the color, you can change the color, I just remove the title. Yeah, so here we have the option of default color and the segment voice color if you want any. This is about this uh, vessel chart. Right, uh, now we need to create, uh, but we have this uh, slicer. So we'll use this triplet slicer and we paste it here. We'll use the subcategory. Okay, we just need to do customization here. So in general, I will say I just need one. Okay. I will increase the text size and outline the circle. We can make it round or square. Let's do it square. Same for the header. We can do so. We can do more customization. Like if you want to do color coding, background color, it will do right now. So it's perfect. So we got the two things. Last thing we need is the uh, the text box here. Yeah, so there's a two option. You can go to uh, insert and you can have a text box, or you can insert a smart narrative. So right now it doesn't have any uh, summarization for the visual so it didn't get any but you can type all you all that you want so we just type our text like i will just copy i will just copy paste the text that we have like uh first we need uh whatever we have selected so what we can do is we can call our selected subcategory here and it's giving us the value so what you need uh, you can just rename it as you can use it later so i will just save it so it's showing all and if i just do copy here it will give me copy okay. same thing for the percentages so what we'll do is uh, I need the percentage of consumer segment, so I'll go into value. Uh, we'll call my GT function. Okay. So right now GT function is giving me 100%, but I need for the consumer segment. So what I will do, uh, I will just start typing by uh, customer segment. Consumer, sorry. Will add change the percentage and it will give me the percentage. I will do save. 
or if you want you can rename this as well so in future you can use it with uh, once you click on the review option if it gives you the uh, value you can just validate your value or review uh, just review or edit your value that's why uh, if you want you can rename uh, give a name to every uh, values that you are calling uh, same thing uh, now for the sales we'll call a value of name so what we need is Consume it will give me the values. So you can do the formatting. I don't need any decimal places. Dollar sign. And we can just rename it again as well. So we can say yeah. uh, same way we'll do for remaining as well. Operate so we we'll go to value. This is what we can have. Uh, one more thing that I would uh, want to uh, share about, like, let's say you have to uh, reuse your Bevel chart again and again. So what happens is when I once I close this file and open a new file, I won't be getting this Bevel chart by default. So if you need this Bevel chart again and again, you can just right-click on it and pin uh, to visualize, visualization pin. Uh, by doing so, what it will do uh, whenever you open a Power BI file, it will have this uh, Bevel chart in it. So this is something that you, uh, we can use if you are uh, going to use a custom visual again and again for different dashboards. Yeah, so this is what we had for today.